What's up everybody? Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie Radio. The MMA Junkie crew is a bit dispersed throughout the country bringing you coverage this week, but we still got you covered for breakdowns on the big fights happening this weekend. One of which goes down on Saturday at Bellator 213, which is headlined by a title fight, but uh, underneath that in that main card is a welterweight Grand Prix fight between Neiman Gracie and Ed Ruth. These are two prospects groomed by Bellator. And I don't even want to say groomed by Bellator. They obviously made their names before they stepped on the Bellator stage. Neiman Gracie, obviously the Gracie lineage. Uh, a Jiu-Jitsu black belt obviously has that name and skill set in that world was Ed Ruth, an accoladed wrestler. One of the most accoladed wrestlers under the Bellator banner or really in MMA uh, actively. And he's making his way up the ranks as well. Both guys have been doing nothing but winning since stepping onto that Bellator stage. And, uh, you know, the old proverbial someone's O has to go here because they have to meet up to progress through this tournament. Um, it, it's tough to break down. I really like Neiman Gracie that he's been getting more comfortable on his feet, uh, throwing some nice kicks, but I think he's really going to have to step it up in boxing range and show that next level because I really like what Ed Ruth is doing as well. I mean, you talk about wrestling. Forget about it. This guy's throwing volume from both stances, and uh, I really like what he's doing. You know, training down there in that hotbed in Southern California, uh, training at places like Alliance MMA. I really like these trends from Ed Ruth. I look to see his growth there. Um, and, and for that reason, I think I'll side with him here if I'm forced to make a pick, you know. Uh, there are no betting lines currently out at the time of this video breakdown, but I gotta imagine the odds makers on public are gonna be siding with Ed Ruth here. You know, the old adage that the wrestler can dictate where the fight goes. Uh, I, I think that kind of holds true here, at least at least in thought and strategy. I believe Ed Ruth's probably gonna come out and try to keep it standing, but if Neiman Gracie surprises him on the feet and leave room to be surprised, folks. Uh, I think he's going to want to take this into the clinch, and we've seen him beat opponents up in the clinch before against the cage. I think that's probably the safe way to uh, neutralize a really dangerous jiu-jitsu threat because you start swimming down in those waters with a shark like Gracie, you will be in trouble. So, uh, uh, forced to make a pick here. I'm going to go with Ed Ruth. I'm going to side with wrestling, but uh, don't sleep on Gracie jiu-jitsu. And regardless, be sure to tune in. Bellator Hawaii is going to be a stacked weekend. Of course, you know we got you covered right here. Keep it locked to MMA Junkie dot com.